people are going vegan or are considering it, and if you have plans to give it a go, it would probably be helpful to know what to expect that first month, mm -hmm. right? And that is where Cynthia Sass comes in. She is a registered dietitian and Health Magazine's contributing nutrition editor. Cynthia, welcome and good morning. Good morning. So good to see you. Okay, yes. so explain exactly what a vegan diet consists of. Okay, so going vegan means you don't eat any animal-based foods, so no meat, poultry, fish, eggs, or dairy. But vegans do eat a wide variety of plant-based foods. So in terms of what to eat, it's all the vegetables, all the fruits, whole grains, nuts, seeds, and pulses, which is the umbrella term for beans, lentils, peas, and chickpeas. And then of course, foods made from those things, like a veggie burger made mm. with pea protein. Right. Okay. okay, so when it comes to obviously your diet, it's all about planning, right? So let's talk about what we can expect when we go vegan, starting with our weight. What can we expect there? Yeah, so you're likely to lose weight, and that's because if you focus on whole plant-based foods, even without trying, you're going to eat more fiber and eat fewer calories. So right off the bat, you're probably going to lose weight. However, it is important to note that if you eat a lot of vegan versions of highly processed foods, it's possible that you could gain weight, and that's because, you know, you're eating processed foods, not because it's vegan or not vegan. Mm -hmm. So that's why you want to start your day with something like a bowl of oatmeal with nuts and fruit instead of a couple of vegan donuts, at least most of the time anyway. Yeah, I always worry about if I ever went vegan, all I would do is stock up on the carbs and then <laughs> the whole thought of losing any weight goes out the window. But there are a few noticeable things um, like gas. We got to talk about this bloating uh, that kind of happens when you start this vegan diet, right? It, yeah, and that largely depends on how you ate before going vegan, but anytime you increase your fiber intake, which is likely to happen when you go vegan, your digestive system needs a little time to adjust to that, just like your muscles have to adjust to a new workout routine. How much time routine. would you say? Um, probably for a couple of weeks, maybe even less, depending on how you ate before. So you may um, want to isolate yourself from family and friends? <laughs> <laughs> time your meals strategically. Okay. But what, can help, what can help with that is, uh, number one, drinking plenty of water throughout the day to help your body handle that increase in fiber. Also, being physically active helps. And if you had a pretty low fiber diet before going vegan, you want to ease your way into some of those really high fiber plant foods like beans, for example. So start mm -hmm. out with smaller portions of those things. Right. So a silver lining here that everybody talks about when they go vegan is having more energy. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Yes. So this may be a function of just taking in more overall nutrients, but you're also likely to experience an increase in circulation, so better circulation, and also a decrease in inflammation. And that trio can really help you feel more energized. Yeah. You know, a lot of people also say, hey, look at my skin. Mm -hmm. Ever since I became a yes. vegan, look at it. It has this glow. It looks great. Why is that? That natural glow that we talk about with healthy eating is really real. Now, again, it's partly because of an increase in circulation and a decrease in inflammation. But a lot of vegans know that, especially when they first go vegan, their skin looks clearer and brighter. And that's also because you're probably taking in a naturally higher level of nutrients that directly affect your skin health. So for example, vitamin A and vitamin C and produce, vitamin E and nuts and seeds, and healthy fats from foods like avocado. And there's research to show that the pigments that give fruits and vegetables their gorgeous colors mm -hmm. do affect our skin tone a little bit in a positive way. Oh, mm. okay. I know Vanessa's got a question, but I got to bring in the yeah. whole team here because we got a couple. I don't know if OG and Ben are vegans, but I know they're vegetarians to some yes. extent, right? We are. OG much more than I am. I, really? I, I thought you so, went yeah. vegetarian. Then. I did, and then I ate chicken. <laughs> oh. And then I was like, I miss chicken. I have a question. <laughs> I do have a question. Sorry, Vanessa, I know you have it. No, do, can you, can, you can't wear leather. Because that's my thing on weekends, is all leather all the oh, time. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> which you, which can you wear leather as a vegan? Your head to toe leather? Well, you can wear pleather, mm -hmm. which uh. is the faux leather. Mm -hmm. And there's plenty of that out there right now, whether it's a belt, shoes, or a jacket, or even those leather pants that you might be sporting. Chaps, you knew it. You knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I said. Okay. Oh, yeah, OG. Um, she, she was just thinking about those chaps. Yeah. Question first. I didn't want to yeah. jump in. Right. OG, this is something you could probably talk about. But Cynthia, during the break, you were saying that you've been a vegan for over 20 years. You say you pass by a cheeseburger. You were unaffected. That would be my weakness. <laughs> mm, but apparently, right? depending on how long you go down this vegan road, you just kind of have this microbiome taste bud change. There's like a, a, a switch that flips. Is that true? 
Yeah, your taste buds are always changing, so you can actually retrain them. So what we know is that when you stop eating as much salt, fat, and sugar, we basically lose the preference for those things. And when we start eating more whole, fresh foods, we gain a preference for those things. And what happens is something that's naturally sweet, like a piece of fruit or sweet potato, tastes so much sweeter to us then. Mm -hmm. And then vegetables taste less bitter. So everything starts to shift, and that can happen in a fairly short period of time. Wow, and that's then you mentioned yeah, it ahead. is, and you mentioned the gut microbiome. So mm -hmm. we have trillions of microbes in our gut, and the makeup of those microbes can shift even within 24 hours of changing your diet. Now that's really great news for vegans, especially new vegans, because when you shift the microbiome makeup by eating more plant-based foods, it enhances the good bacteria, the beneficial bacteria that are associated with things like positive immune function, anti-inflammation, and even better mood. Right. Got Cynthia, we, we have to let you go, but before we do, I have a quick question. You mentioned immunity. Obviously, everybody wants to, like, enforce and fortify their immune system with all the bugs going around right now. Is there, like, a vegan starter kit, like, in terms of food that if we do want to transition, what should we have to kind of whip up some quick meals? The most important thing that you can do is eat more produce. Just simply eat, okay. try to eat five to seven servings of produce a day, and then choose those pulses, beans, lentils, peas, chickpeas for your protein source. Add in some healthy fat from something like olive oil or avocado, round it out with a healthy uh, carb source, like a whole grain, and you're good to go. And you really don't miss a cheeseburger? Come on, no. Cynthia, there's gotta be like a day. No. There's, no. there's things like Beyond Burgers. That's on true, yeah. which tastes are, pretty darn good. Put yeah. ketchup on there's, it, it's fine. So, so I, for some people, I've actually done taste tests. They do not know the yeah. difference. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, Cynthia, it's so great talking to you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Have a great day. You, you too. too. And we'll have additional Thanks. information about going vegan on our website. You can also check out the latest issue of Health Magazine.